Hey, welcome back everyone. How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. What are we looking at here? Well, it's Dell. And I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh, Dell, you mean the company that owns Alienware? Yes, that company. And you're gonna say, well, what are we what is this? What kind of monitor is this? Well, here, let me explain to you what this is. This is a 27 inch matte finish LED QHD not 4K but QHD 2560 by 1440p what is one unique feature about this monitor and I will explain as I unbox this monitor I will explain to you why I went ahead with this monitor from build quality to the picture quality and of course the most important part of this monitor is the refresh rate this monitor has 144 hertz refresh rate, zero millisecond response time, and it has a built-in G-Sync. Now, G-Sync, the best way to explain G-Sync, it's if you're running at, let's say, uh, If you're not running at a cost constant frame rate, okay, what the G-Sync basically does, it keeps the picture from tearing, okay? Let's say you're running a game with a very high-end uh, graphical settings and you want to avoid that tear, the picture tear when you're moving left and right, the G-Sync is going to... Uh, stabilize that it's going to keep that in a constant frame rate so that way you don't see that tearing okay that's what the g-sync technology does i will talk more about the g-sync technology throughout my tests on this video keep in mind g-sync it's only for nvidia free sync it's only for amd now i have both free sync and g-sync monitor but once i unbox this uh monitor you will see exactly why 144 hertz it's important i didn't think of it that much until i've seen the difference between 60 hertz and even 100 hertz 120 hertz and then 144 hertz uh so anyway without further ado it's been two minutes and 50 seconds let's unbox this monitor and by the way the model of this monitor is s2716 dgr s2716 dgr so without any further ado let's go ahead and let's unbox this monitor okay so when you unbox the monitor from the top right here from the top you cut it right here in the middle. Here, let me show you. Right here in the middle. You use it, you cut right here in the middle and then you pull it down. When you open the box, you will see a couple of things. Your stand, the floor stand that comes with it right here. And then the swivel right here which gets attached to it. You know, you don't have to use any screwdrivers, anything like that. You just plug this in and we'll get connected immediately. See these little lines right here of the metal? They're gonna get locked right in. So that's what I like about this monitor. It's really built great, has a great build quality. And this is very heavy, by the way. This is a very heavy monitor, it's not light. That's also uh, brings to the value of the monitor. The original price, the original price of this monitor was 600, but I was lucky enough to catch it on sale for 400. So I saved about 200, 200 dollars I saved on this monitor. Okay, so let's see what else we got in here. Of course, you got your. What is this? I think this is a Thunder. Oh, this is the uh, USB 3.0 USB 3.0 cable. That's cool that they include a 
USB 3.0 cable. Actually, uh, I never seen this. I don't know. Can you guys, uh, maybe some of you know what this jack is here. You see this right here? I've never seen this. I don't know what this is. Uh, this type of uh, port. i never seen it. So maybe if you guys know, you can leave a comment and let me know what this is. I honestly don't know. I'll have to uh, do some more research on it. Of course, is your power cable that comes with it. It comes in with a very good, very good quality. Very good quality. High speed HDMI 2.2 cable. And of course, it should come in with uh, HDMI 2.2 high-speed cable because you are getting a because uh, you are paying a, a a premium price for this by the way I would like to apologize this is not a HDMI cable I apologize this is a display port very good quality display port cable and that's pretty cool all right and the best way to use a 144 hertz refresh rate it's through a display port yes you can use hdmi but honestly if you want that g-sync if you want that 144 excellent constant refresh rate you want to use the uh, display port cable okay if you're using a laptop and uh, your laptop doesn't have display port only has the hdmi what you can do is you can buy a display port to HDMI adapter, okay? It's a display port to an HDMI adapter. That way it can convert from display port to HDMI and you can still use that. Okay, so it comes with a display port. And in there, we're going to dig in and look at the monitor. So what I'm gonna do next, since I already unboxed it, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the monitor. We're gonna turn it on, okay? So you guys can see it. We already spent seven minutes unboxing it so we're gonna go ahead take the box away we're going to set it up we're gonna hook it up and we'll check it out okay let's do that right now all right so when you take this top part of the box you're going to find a monitor deep inside of the box which is right here There it is, it's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up because it's already been eight minutes. Uh, I'm not unbox therapy, so, you know, I'm just showing you what comes in the box really quick and then I'm going to set up the monitor, all right? So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the back of the monitor. This is where the swivel is gonna go, right here. Okay, it's going to get attached to it right over here. It's going to lock right in, as you can see. Uh, right here, you have your uh, power cable that's going to go right into it. These are the vents to keep it cool. Here, you have your display port. Hold on. Here, you have your display port and your HDMI 2.0. And then you have two USB 3.0. And there's another one. There's a third one. I think this is some sort of like uh, special kind. Maybe it's a Thunderbolt. I don't know. Thunderbolt to USB 3.0. I'm not sure uh, what this is. You guys will have to let me know what this is. Leave a comment down below. I honestly don't know. First time seeing it. But I do know it has something to do with the 3.0 USBs. So this is pretty cool that you can put 3.0 USBs here. That's excellent. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on the uh, front side so you guys can see the front side. Beautiful matte finish, as you can see, beautiful matte finish, no glossy, which I hate the glossiness, I don't like it. And right here, you will see just uh, how thick the bezel is. This is a very hefty monitor, it's not by any means a... Uh, tiny monitor this is a very hefty heavy monitor and it feels very 
good. You know, you paying a premium price for a really good quality. This thing will not break. This thing it's sturdy. Wait, I, wait till I show you guys the uh, the swivel. How cool it is! All right. So this is the front of the uh, the monitor right here. I'm trying to do my best here to use the camera in the best possible way, like this, so you guys can see it. Okay. Now let's put this thing together. Okay, so we are going to connect this swivel. This is a very hard, uh, heavy, thick metal swivel. This thing, it's heavy, okay? And so we're going to uh, plug it right into the monitor. All right, so a couple of very important things. You want to make sure that it's facing this way. So that way it can align in and go in. So that way... You can connect the other part, the bottom part right here. So very, so you make sure you turn it on its back, the monitor, and then make sure that swivel goes in this way. Okay? And then right here, you'll have the, uh, the connectors for your stand. Once that's done, you will see that everything is connected in there perfectly it's locked in you can see it moving you see the swivel moving here I'll, I'll do it like this here I'll show it to you see how the swivel is moving there there you go it's attached perfectly now we're gonna go put the uh, the bottom part of the swivel which is the stand right here. This is the stand right here. Now this is the stand and you can see it says NVIDIA Gene Sync on it immediately. This is where this part right here is gonna connect to this other male to female port, okay? It's like a docking, that's how it's gonna dock. Also, once you dock this in, it's very important that you go in the back right here. That you go in the back and screw it right in tightly okay with this screw it tells you right here how to do it counterclockwise all right so it's very easy to put this together it shouldn't be a problem all right and this is very hefty this is very this is a metal this is a very hefty monitor okay so why don't you have it connected what I mean by connected, once you have it plugged in, you slide it right in. Once it goes in, you hold it. And then you tighten this counterclockwise. Once you do that, once it's tight, then you just press right here and keep it there at the bottom. And there you go. Done. Okay, so once you have everything plugged in, there you go. The monitor, now it's all set and ready to roll. It's a very robust monitor. Let me show you different angles of it, like this, so you guys can see a little bit better. Just look at that bezel. Just look how thick that bezel is. There's actually four four USB 3.0 connectors four not two not three but four including this one right here this one right here which one I don't know what this is there's another one over here in the back over there it has total of five excuse me five 3.0 USB ports so that's pretty cool And then there's a swivel right here, you can see it. What's so cool about this swivel, it can go up and down. Okay, so you can go up, up, and then you can bring it down, up and down. It's very easy. You don't have to put too much force on this monitor to do that. You just you just hit it a little bit, look. Just a little bit, like this. Goes down, and comes up. 
You can also put it vertically if you want to. So it could be like standing like that vertically. We can do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to demonstrate that really quick right now. There you go right there. Now it's in a vertical position. As you can see it. This is something you can use if you want to use three of these monitors. Uh, let's say you're doing a flight simulation or a racing. You can use the... Uh, stereo uh, triple monitors and then you can enjoy it like this okay so you can put it vertically and you can put it just on your usual you know uh, I'm sorry uh, horizontal and vertical you can put it both options you have available on it okay so I have hooked up the monitor uh, through HDMI and everything the only problem is this and this is something that I didn't know going into buying this monitor I just wish that Dell would have explained this a little bit better before they uh, sell you this 144 Hertz refresh rate monitor the reason I use this quote sign it's because they never said it only has to be a display port. Only through display port you can use 144 hertz refresh rate. And obviously my laptop here doesn't have the uh, display port. It only has the HDMI output, okay? It doesn't have a display port. So what I basically would have to do, there's a couple of options that I have to get the advantage of 144 hertz. Either A, I get the amplifier which I honestly don't want to get the amplifier because I had such a shitty experience with that amplifier the first time I got it around. Remember? The damn thing didn't work. I don't want to waste my money on that. And number two, I can buy DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. Now, I don't know if that's going to work. You know, I've been trying to find out... Uh, looked everywhere in the Google no one had mentioned to me whether or not display port to HDMI adapter if it's going to work if it's going to support 144 Hertz uh, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't because it's you know it's a display port to HDMI but I don't know uh, I don't know if that's gonna work I think it has to be display port to display port from out to in of a display port so uh, I don't know I'll have to do some more research. Kind of sucks. Here, let me show you. Uh, because if you go to a display uh, port menus, you will see... I mean, if you go to a uh, monitor display, you will see that it will not allow you to get the uh, any more than 60 hertz. It doesn't recognize 144 hertz. It only recognizes a 60 hertz. So that's kind of a downer, you know. Uh, so I don't know, man. I'll do some tests on this uh, monitor. And uh, I'm going to mess around with it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, order that display port to HDMI and see what I can do. You know what I mean? Because if that doesn't work, then I'll just have to end up buying the uh, amplifier. And I hate buying that amplifier because the last time I bought that amplifier, it, it didn't work. So uh, that's kind of a negative, uh, you know... I mean, this is a good monitor. This is a really good monitor. It just kind of sucks that they didn't explain that. Like, they should have explained that from the beginning that you will have to have a display port output from your car. Okay? They should have mentioned that. Nowhere did they say you have to use a display uh, port to take the advantage of 144 hertz. Obviously, if they had said that, I would have said, hey, hold on, you know, hold on a second. But they never mentioned that. Uh, so uh, that kind of sucks. But anyway, it is what it is. I'll probably have to end up getting the amplifier. Uh, I'm sure once I get the amplifier that works with my Titan X that I have, because my Titan X, Titan X has the display port. I think it has two display ports. I'll be able to take the advantage of the uh, 144 hertz. But it's kind of a downer. It kind of sucks, you know. And I mean, like, what the hell?
But either way, I'm still going to do some tests with a 60 hertz just to see how well this monitor responds. It still has the G-Sync and uh, it also has the zero millisecond response time, which is pretty freaking cool. All right. So uh, there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, the unboxing and the setup. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'm going to do some tests on this monitor throughout coming days, coming weeks. Uh, I'm going to order that display port to HDMI. It's like 8 bucks. It's not even that expensive. I'm going to see if that works. If that works, then that's cool. But if that doesn't work, then I'll probably have to end up getting a um, amplifier, which kind of sucks. But Because the last time I bought an amplifier, you guys know what happened. Uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. And also this Alienware laptop, it's kind of BS, you know, you're going to make a, such a powerful laptop, right? And you're going to put some ridiculous uh, price on it, but you only give an HDMI output. You don't give like display port on it as well. You don't give more USB ports. You know, there's some things on Alienware that I don't like. I don't like that they limit you with that you know that's that's something you should be beware you should beware the fact that it doesn't come with a display port i mean it's 2017 you should have a display port on a damn laptop okay why so freaking hard to put a display port on a on the laptop am i missing something alienware dell alienware dell <laughs> but hey uh Still, I'm not complaining. I got a good deal for this monitor. I will take the advantage of 144 hertz. It's just right now at the moment, I cannot take the advantage of 144 hertz. But I will take the advantage once I uh, do some tests, once I get that cable. If the cable works, the display port to HDMI, perfect. If the cable doesn't work, display port to HDMI adapter, then I'm going to go ahead and buy the amplifier again. I'll get it like really cheap, like 150 get the amplifier, put my Titan X on there, and hook it up, and check it out, and then uh, see the beauty of 144 hertz. All right, so there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the uh, unboxing. Uh, so I'll do some comparisons between my, which is right over here, between my LG 27 FreeSync monitor and my Dell 27. Uh, actually, this is a 28 inch. I'm sorry, this is a 28 inch uh, monitor, I believe. Is it a 28? Let me, you know what, guys? Let me double check. My apologies, it's 27. I'm such an idiot. I apologize. They're both 27. Now, the difference is this one is 4K monitor, IPS, 5 millisecond, FreeSync. And this one here, it's G-Sync, matte finish, LED panel. So, uh, but the, the benefit here, it's obviously, it's the 144 hertz. And it also has the QHD 1440p, which will be interesting to see how some games that are running on 1440p on the PlayStation 4 Pro run on this monitor. So that'd be kind of cool to check that out. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Hopefully you like this uh, video. Like I said, downer kind of sucks. Uh, I don't understand why can't they utilize 144 hertz via uh, HDMI. They should be able to utilize that via HDMI. I don't, I don't get it. Why couldn't they do that? But what are you going to do? There you have it. Hopefully you like this video. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one.